we designed movable water lines that could move with the calves so they would have fresh water wherever they were and they would be able to be moved to fresh grass daily. We designed a fencing system that allowed us to birth up near the barn and protect those animals while they were birthing and then move them out into the bigger pastures. We breed our cows so that they birth in the spring and that's because when they birth, which is usually April to May, we want them to be able to have green grass to eat uh, to help them recover from the birthing process. Most of your commercial operations would be birthing a lot sooner in the winter and birthing the animals in the barn. So our operation is designed to mimic ma nature when they would normally be birthing um, if they were out in the wild. Most of our cattle are right now in a 100 acre pasture and we divide that up into several paddocks. The cattle get to move over one section each day with our, our movable fencing system until we've moved all the way through that paddock and then we just move them to the next paddock because our goal is to keep those cattle on fresh grass daily. Most of your nutrition and energy is in the top three inches of the grass, so we only want the top couple inches eaten and they move right next um, to that section and start over again the next day. People ask us, what do you feed your cattle in the winter if they're 100% grass fed, which they are. So in the winter, we have our hay um, bales that we bring in and we lay them strategically all over the field so that we can just move them to the next set of hay bales each day. So we also keep them moving through the winter. We also do something with fermented wrapped grass. They really like that and so we have some of that in the pasture in the winter and we unwrap those bales and they're able to eat that also and that's a high energy source for them. They eat grass only all year round.